Hey guys, Mrs. Phillipson here. Um, we are working on tone, as you know. We've already talked about what tone is, the author's opinion about what's going on, right? Um, as opposed to mood, which is how the reader feels. We've talked about the evidence you use for tone, which is diction, which is really tough, right? That it is harder than using plot as our evidence because that's gonna be what we're wanting to use. Um, so you can hear Dr. Phillips in the background getting his ice water. <laughs> um, so you're gonna be doing something a little bit more creative today with your tone words. So you've already looked through the Telltale Heart and if you don't feel like you have enough, you can go back and look again. Okay, um, you're gonna be making a word cloud. That's what this is. So I've taken the words in my poem, One Perfect Rose by Dorothy Parker. You'll notice I have a title and an author there. Make sure yours does too. Um, and I've created a visual representation of the importance of those words, okay? So the larger the word, like perfect is pretty important. Just my luck is pretty important here. Um, the bigger the word, the more important it is. So you'll see those more um, sentimental words, the the ones that were in the earlier part of the poem for the most part are gonna be smaller. I've written those in cursive too to help me out when I'm looking back at this later. And I've used print in the places where I feel like it's her more you know, sarcastic disillusioned tone. Um, and you'll notice that over here I actually have a tone statement. In one perfect rose, Dorothy Parker surprises her reader with a sudden shift from a sentimental tone to a disillusioned tone. So you're gonna do the exact same thing for the Telltale Heart. You'll need to come up with some sort of image you can use, and I'm gonna be honest, I traced this. I found it on Google and I traced it. You can do the same thing, no judgment, okay? Um, but you're coming up with an image that you can then fill with the words. Uh, and you will notice, let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like 17 or 18. You should probably have about 25 or 30 in that window, 25 to 30 words. Um, because I was going from a poem that was a lot shorter than the short story you read. So keep that in mind. You also notice I used perfect a few more times. Like I used every perfect in the poem to make enough words to make this work. Um, you have plenty of words to choose from, okay? And again, you'll see how I talked about a shift in tone. So if you thought there were a couple different things happening with the tone, it would be okay to, uh, to note that and then maybe use different fonts like I did. Um, the Telltale Heart's a very different piece of writing than One Perfect Rose, though, so keep that in mind. Um, the goal is for you to try this in when you walk into class tomorrow, so if you have any questions, make sure you swing by to see me, shoot me an email, something like that. Um, have a wonderful day, do an amazing job, uh, take a look at the board out front to see what else you need to do when you're done. Alrighty? Have a good one. Bye, guys.